lot of things I couldn't care less about, but my wife likes them. And I'm a smart man. I chose to like them a long time ago. Amen? You just choose to like them. And there are things that with God, that, that we, they're important to us because they're important to Him. And we have to choose because of our love for Christ. We're going to say, hey, Lord, what's ever important to you, that's important to me. And church is one of those things. Let me make this statement. And I want you to never forget it. There is no precedent in the Bible for Christians living a life pleasing to the Lord apart from the local church. That's right. People say today, well, I can be a Christian and not go to church. And my answer is, that's true, but you can't be a good one. Mm -hmm. You don't get saved by going to church. You get saved by putting your faith in Jesus. Amen. But if you want to be a good Christian, you do have to make church a priority. Uh, Hebrews chapter 10 verses 23 through 25 talk about holding fast a profession of faith and our profession not wavering. It is impossible to be a strong Christian and not put a priority on church attendance. Right. It is impossible. Let me tell you something. Yes, sir. Uh, God has used church to change my life. Amen. I'm a better man because of church. I'm a better husband. I'm a better father. You think I'm lousy now. You should have saw me before Jesus got a hold of me. I mean, I was a mess. But God has changed my life, and he's done that through the church. He's done that through preaching. He's done that through the testimony and model, a modeling of good Christianity from men and women in my past. Church is vital to the life of the Christian. There is no precedent in the Bible for Christians living a life pleasing to the Lord apart from the local church. That's and right. so now we talk about the church of Jesus Christ. We look at verse 18, and I love this. Jesus said uh, unto Peter that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. Let me say number one, we Praise mentioned God. the history of the church. The history of the church. The church was not founded by men. Right. It was not man's idea. Right. It's not a man-led organization. That's right. It was the idea of God, the heart of Jesus Christ to start the church. It was his idea, and Jesus Christ founded the church. And he said, I will build my church. Mm -hmm. This is so important we understand this. You know, the Catholics get this church, get this verse wrong. And they will say that, that uh, Peter was the first pope. And Jesus was saying that you're Peter, and upon the, you, I'm going to build my church. That's not what the verse says. That's right, that's right. The Bible never said that God was going to build his church. Christ was going to build his church upon Peter. Matter of fact, listen, I'm a man myself. Men will fail us. Yeah. Yeah. It is a foolish thing to put your confidence in mankind. Yes. The arm of flesh will fail. God knows men better than you. He's the one that said the heart's deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? He was the one who said uh, the, the arm of flesh will fail and not to put your confidence in men. He wasn't saying I'm going to build my church upon a man. He was saying I'm going to build my church upon me. And there's a play on words here that's very important. So notice here he says, thou art Peter. The word Peter there speaks of a small stone or a small rock. And then he says, but upon this rock, that's a different word. Hmm. That means the rock, right, right. the big rock. And so when Jesus here, this was very uh, clear to the disciples as he was teaching. He said, Peter, you're a little rock, but upon this rock, upon me, I will build my church. Amen. This is the church of Jesus Christ. 